Welcome back, everybody. Time for some more Victory at Sea Pacific. And before I get too far, I do have just a couple of housekeeping things I need to take care of. Uh, my apologies to Gimp Master, uh, who had requested his cruiser a while back uh, as one of our patrons and I forgot to go in and do that so we're going to take care of it right now a uh, little backstory, and I love these stories because a lot of these names that the patrons are requesting actually come from some family connection to a name of a ship or to a person and I love being able to honor those requests uh, so he wants me to name a cruiser the USS J.A. Morris J.A. Morris was his grandfather, Gimp Master's grandfather who worked as the head engineer at the Mare Island Naval Shipyard until he retired in 1962. He said the very first ship he worked on was the USS California that was built in 1916. Some of the other well-known ships that he worked on were the USS Kilty, uh, USS Montana, uh, USS Jupiter Conversion, the Nautilus, the San Francisco, and the Sargo. I think some of those uh, Nautilus, were, I'm, I'm pretty sure was a a submarine but that's really cool uh, Mare Island's a big part of what we're doing with a lot of these ships in fact uh, that's where this ship is is in Mare Island so it seems really appropriate that we name a ship that was built in Mare Island uh, after a man who was the head engineer at the Mare Island Naval Shipyard so I'm proud to do this uh, we are grateful for all the work that your grandfather did and get master so there you go, USS J.A. Morris. Uh, it's a heavy cruiser, Baltimore class, coming out of Mare Island. Our other ship that we need to name uh, is going to be for Brian Reardon, who's one of our newest patrons, and he would like an Essex-class carrier uh, to be named. And there's, a, again, a story behind that. We can't name this one yet because it's still got 18 days until it's done, but when it's done, we're going to name that one. Uh, his grandfather flew Hellcats off of the USS Randolph, which was an Essex-class carrier late in the war. And so he asked if I would be uh, willing to name an Essex carrier the USS Monaghan. Um, he said there was actually a destroyer at Pearl Harbor called the Monaghan, but there's no connection. Uh, so I will be glad to do that in honor of your grandfather, Brian. We just got to wait until it comes off the assembly line. Uh, when it's ready to go, we will definitely get that name for you. Okay, this is a big, big deal. I don't know how on earth the Japanese did this, but... My Enterprise Task Force, which is by far my smallest carrier task force, just bumped into a fleet of 18 destroyers, two light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, two battleships, and four carriers. It is time to get out of Dodge very quickly. So we're going to try to get out of here, but this, this might be a problem. We, we may lose the Enterprise. That's a small force. That is by far my smallest carrier task force. But that definitely means it's time to call in the cavalry. Uh, we've got to go after. There's four carriers. We've sunk seven Japanese carriers, and we just found four more. So we're going to have to send everything we can down that direction to deal with that. And I think we just spotted them again. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's get away from those guys. So the good news is we do have... Uh, Carrier Task Force Alpha, which has the Pillar of Autumn and the Uwana Buyer. And we have the Yorktown Task Force, which also has uh, the Independence, which is a, a light carrier with it, uh, an escort carrier. So that should give me the firepower I need to be able to take these guys on. Uh, we've just got to hope that the Enterprise Task Force can make it back to Guadalcanal before we lose too much. We've already lost most of our fighters because they were in the process of intercepting some other planes, some land-based planes. And so now I'm not entirely sure I've got a lot that I can defend with if he starts sending dive bombers and torpedo bombers at me. All right, looks like we got some Japanese Zeros coming in here. And it looks like somebody must have hit the, the Enterprise. I don't know why I didn't see it, but somebody did. I got a notification that they were under attack, but by, I think by then it had already happened. Uh, so let's see what these zeros are up to. I don't know if they're going to come in and try to strafe one of my planes. I'm not sure why they would do that. Oh, they're going to try to hit my Hellcat coming back in to land. I think we're going to be okay. So now we can start shooting at these zeros and take them down.
Makes my job a little easier moving forward if we can take out some of those fighters. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bridge. So there were some torpedo bombers that hit me and it looks like we took out some of them. We took a little damage but nothing major. But we're never going to be able to outrun this guy. He's going to be able to keep launching attacks on me and I've got no, no fighters left to defend with. I'm rushing as many carriers down there as I can spare right now. And just like that, another fleet shows up, this time near Wake Island. Five destroyers, a light cruiser, a heavy cruiser, a battleship, and a carrier. Uh, so we just started moving out from the marshals. I could probably divert some of these resources over to deal with this fleet. Or I can just let them keep going. And one of the, the Heyman task force is coming down from Midway. Maybe they can deal with that. I do have the Saratoga Task Force here at Wake Island as well. I think between them and Task Force 22, we can probably do the job. So let's go ahead and move to attack them. We're going to send Task Force 22 that way as well. Now coming in toward the marshals, we also have six destroyers. I think we're going to go ahead and... Let me pause for a second. I'm not going to issue an attack order for the Yorktown Task Force. But what I am going to do is at least get our torpedo bombers. Which I need to get rid of those. I need to replace those with dive bombers. We'll get the ones on the Independence going too. We don't have that many bombers on an on a escort carrier like that. But we'll do it anyway. Torpedo bombers, same thing. We'll get everybody going after those six destroyers. Ah, make that 12 destroyers. We just spotted six more. Uh, so we'll go after those first six, then we'll go deal with the other ones. Not sure why he'd send all those destroyers without anything else. Anyway, let's see what's happening down here, because... Uh, it's about to get ugly. And it looks like right now those are just spotters. Okay, we can see here there's six subs over here, but there's obviously something else because 16 fighters coming to intercept my attack squadrons that are going in. So now we're going to have to go ahead and deal with them. Oh. I don't have any fighters on the Pillar of Autumn. I think they were not ready for this. That We were in the process of upgrading, and I didn't get finished with that. And actually, Wanna Buyer has nothing. So, unfortunately, we really can't send them to the Marshals. I mean, I guess we're going to have to because we, we need the help. or to the Solomons. But we have no planes. Ah, oh, boy. I probably need to keep them here until that's done. Darn it. That means I may lose the Enterprise. Which honestly, considering I've taken out seven Japanese carriers, I really shouldn't get that upset about losing one, if that's what happens, but I'd really rather not. So we do have the Yorktown, and Yorktown is sending her fighters uh, to go try to intercept them, but hopefully the, the spotter slows them down. But that's 16, 24 fighters, and I've only got 12 to send up against them, so hopefully we just do enough to distract them while I can bring my guys back in. Hopefully we take out all these des these destroyers in the process. Alright, so we destroyed that first fleet of six destroyers, that's good news. Meanwhile, 18 torpedo bombers, 15 dive bombers headed toward this fleet. He's got a carrier, so I would imagine he's going to send up some fighters of his own. It just hasn't happened yet. All right, let's pause for a second. All right, it starts with the torpedo bombers, which never really find much success for me. And again, I'm not going to issue any orders. We're just going to see what happens. It's the Zuikaku. And here come the fighters. They're just now getting them in the air. 
so I'm probably going to lose all these torpedo planes. But hopefully if they distract him long enough, we'll get our dive bombers on target. You got the Yamashiro battleship here. We're going to send the whole dive bomber squadron at the carrier. He's getting lots of zeros in the air now. All right, we did we get any torpedoes in the water at all? If so, I'm not seeing them. Wow, I don't think they got a single torpedo in the water. That's awful. Yep, we lost all those the torpedo planes are just useless, completely useless. And now the zeros are coming toward my dive bombers. Uh I might have royally screwed this up. Looks like now we're getting our fighters in the air. We should have had them there to begin with. Enterprise Task Force has been lost in Empress Augusta Bay. Well, there it is. I had a feeling that might happen. And now I'm kind of second guessing sending my other fleet down there. I might just kind of let that go. Man, this is turning into a setback episode. Big time. You know, things felt like they were going too easy. So now we've got to kind of pull back and regroup a little bit. Now we've got seven more destroyers coming down at Wake Island from the north. I don't know where the Japanese are getting all of these ships, to be honest. How they're able to produce so many more than I am. Because I've destroyed so many already. Uh, so we've got this group coming in here. I'm sending everybody back to get refit. Get all of our planes rebuilt. Let's get everything switched over from uh, torpedo bombers to dive bombers. And really build ourselves a force that can deal with all this stuff. Alright, right now what we're trying to do is win the fighter war here in the Marshall Islands. Uh, so we're intercepting all the fighters that he's sending this way. Once we clear the road with all of our fighters, then we can start sending in massive amounts of dive bombers to go deal with this uh, carrier fleet. Uh, right now I'm in the process of upgrading the Yorktown, getting rid of the torpedo bombers. We're going to have all fighters and dive bombers here. We've already got that in Carrier Task Force Alpha with the Pillar of Autumn and the Yuana Buyer, but what's happening there is that we're trying to uh, finish the upgrades that we ordered. Once all of that is done, we're going to just send a massive amount of planes and we're going to wipe out this fleet. There's another one coming behind them. There's six subs there. Also up here by Wake, uh, we've got seven destroyers, three destroyers and a light cruiser, and the Saratoga Task Force, that's their job. So we're going to go ahead and send them out. Saratoga is pretty much out of planes, though, so we're going to have to finish getting them upgraded first, I'm afraid. Uh, view on map. What is this? Six destroyers uh, coming at the Marshall Islands in addition to what we've already got there. So a lot going on right now. Okay, Task Force 22 is going to go ahead and engage this fleet here, which is mostly destroyers, and I think they're going to take care of business real quick. We've got three battleships in Task Force 22. And it's just now starting to be daybreak. We're here at Wake Island. So rather than dealing with sending up my planes while I'm trying to get those upgraded, I can easily do this with my battleship task force. Beautiful. So we had already taken some of them out with the with the planes. It looks like we just dealt with the rest. So let's go ahead and go back out to the bridge now. We've also got these three destroyers in a light cruiser, and Task Force 22 can easily deal with them as well. That frees up my carrier task forces to finish their upgrades and do everything they need to do. Let's send Tar Saratoga back in to Wake Island to do that. Looks like his carrier task force is turning around and running. Which is fine because we've got a lot more of them down here. In the meantime, we've got a thousand war bonds. Let's go ahead and queue up another Essex class carrier. 
I wish there was, oh, you can change these. Uh, so, oh, this is Yorktown, docked at Marshall Islands. So obviously, we're still working on that. Okay, Task Force 22 is sitting tight and ready to take on this other group of destroyers uh, along with a light cruiser that are coming into our kill zone here. Really not sure what he's thinking. Oh, yeah, those battleships are nice to have. I want to look at some of their stats. We're going to do that after we take out the Akazuki. Let's go ahead and look at Task Force 22 for a minute because I want to look at what kills they've got. Juno has sunk two subs. Omaha has sunk a cruiser and uh, five torpedo boats, a destroyer, and an aircraft. The Richmond uh, hasn't done anything yet. That's okay. Uh, Colorado-class battleship, the USS Colorado, has sunk a cruiser, two carriers, uh, and two destroyers. Uh, O'Bannon has a, a kill on a sub. William C. Miller has destroyed an aircraft and a structure. Maryland has seven destroyers and a battleship sunk. The Tennessee has six destroyers sunk, two structures destroyed, two cruisers sunk. And the Nicholas uh, hasn't done anything yet. So pretty good for that little fleet to do all that so far. All right, well, they're getting awful close, and I don't fully have all of my planes available, but I've got a good start. So I think we're going to go ahead and launch what we can. And hope for the best here. We'll actually just get all of Carrier Task Force Alpha ordered to do this. And then the Yorktown Task Force, same deal. Uh, we've got a lot that aren't ready to go, but we do have some dive bombers ready to go. So let's go ahead and get some planes in the air. Actually, a lot of torpedo bombers because we haven't had a chance to upgrade all of them yet. But I think we've got a decent amount. Okay, here we go. It looks like we're going to have some Avengers going at it first. I don't know if they're going to hit anything at all. But we've got a whole mess of dive bombers coming in on this guy. And here come the torpedo bombers. They did get a few torpedoes in the water. Whether or not those will hit anything, another question. Looks like somebody sank something there. Where's this carrier? This carrier must be back behind all of this. Is that it way out here? Interesting. The hear you is all by his lonesome way back here. Let's go get him. Now nah, it looks like we're going after the other other ships first. We're going to hit the battleship. And almost all the bombs missed. It's awesome. We hit him a couple times, but that was about it. All right, what do we got here? Do we have some additional ones coming that way? I don't know. All right, we got more dive bombers coming in. This is Baker Squadron. Again, it looks like we're pretty much ignoring the carrier which I'd rather they didn't do. So we're actually going to move this way. Try to go hit that guy. I think I might have just given a, a move order to... No, no, what are you doing? Stay up there. They started going in too low. We're flying over his whole fleet, which is a mistake, but... Ah! I want to hit the hear you. try and finish him off. We just need a couple of a couple of good hits. A 
Come on, baby. I actually want to watch it from here use perspective. Uh, everybody missed. Landed on either side of him. What a mess. So many wasted opportunities. Jeez. Okay. Alright, Yorktown's ready to go. Let's hit him. Task Force Alpha. Looks like they're ready to go. Alright, we're going to send everything we've got now. Ah, I didn't mean to do it that fast. That was a lot of dive bombers to not take out a carrier. Oh my gosh. Now here go the few torpedo bombers that I have. So we sent dozens of dive bombers. And it looks like we have nothing to show for it. So here we go again. The few torpedo bombers we haven't replaced yet just flew in. Looks like we've got a couple of Dauntlesses coming in here. Let's just hit the closest thing, hopefully. No, nope, they're not going for him. In fact, I don't know who they're going for. Oh, we're going for the battleship. One good hit could finish this guy off. All the torpedoes coming at him, too. In fact, it looks like he's going to take a torpedo. No, it went right under him? What the heck? That one hit him and sank him. All right. I take back everything I said about the torpedoes, at least for now. Scratch one Japanese battleship. Okay. Hell divers. I don't see his carrier again. That's okay. Let's deal with the rest of the fleet. There's the carrier. I don't know if that's who they're going after this time. Seems like it must be. First set of dive bombers already after the carrier. Got him. Alright, so the other guys can go after something else. Oh, don't keep dropping bombs. He's already dead. There we go. The here use toast. So now they went after the heavy cruiser with no success. That's all right. That's another Japanese carrier taken out. Now we'll finish that fleet off. We'll get refit. Let's go after these destroyers over here. I'll order Task Force Alpha to deal with them. We'll let Yorktown finish off this fleet. There's another carrier fleet up here that if we can get these guys fixed up, we can go after them. We've got to remember that down here in the Solomons, there's a a four carrier fleet right here. Four carriers, 18 destroyers, two battleships. Taking that thing out, oh my gosh, that would be outstanding. But we're gonna need more firepower. I didn't realize the Japanese would have the ability to put together a fleet like that at this point. All right, last thing we're gonna do for this episode is we're gonna intercept this other carrier task force. We're gonna send Yorktown And we're going to send Task Force Alpha. So it looks like even though this is what we thought was their last known position, they're actually over here. So we don't actually see them at the moment, but let's go ahead and get into the combat screen. Because I think we're going to get them this way.
Not sure we're actually spotting where the flight is. Okay, so we haven't actually spotted the fleet, but it looks like we've been seeing planes taken off from this direction. So I'm hoping we can we can find him before we run out of flu fuel, and I guess we aren't going to. So looks like we did just spot him though. So I don't know what's going on here. I think we just ran out of fuel before we could actually hit him. There we go. I still, you know, sometimes it just doesn't seem that the computer is real intuitive. But I think we got it figured out. Here we go. Let's see what this thing's got. We got two carriers. I feel like we already sank a Zuikaku, but maybe they're using the same name multiple times. All right, everybody hit the carrier. We're really close on fuel here. Everybody hit the carrier. Where are you going, guys? There we go. Let's watch it from right here. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, look at all those bombs missing. Oh, <laughs> this is so painful. They're all dropping right next to him. How hard is it? How do we have that many dive bombers miss? Come on guys, somebody hit this thing. They literally, oh, we got one hit. Oh, it should have been so easy to take that thing out with as many bombs as we just dropped. Ah, oh, okay. All right, that's okay. We've got a lot more coming this way. We've got 54 more dive bombers heading in on target. We've got another nine coming this way. I didn't realize we still we still have a couple of torpedo bombers on the on the Yorktown. All right, here we go again. Maybe this time we won't issue any orders. We'll just let these guys go after whoever they want. We'll see what happens that way. Looks like we're not going to go after the carrier. We're going to fly over everybody and give them plenty of chances to use their anti-aircraft fire before we actually drop any bombs. Uh, stupid AI. Looks like we're going to go after a destroyer. We can't even hit a carrier, but we're going to try and drop bombs on a destroyer. And the success is about as one would expect. Okay. All right, I guess somebody must have hit the carrier because he's gone. So we're going to let this keep going. Oh, Task Force 22 has engaged an enemy near Wake Island. Who? Oh, three destroyers, a cruiser, and two light cruisers. That should actually go pretty well. All right, here we go. Task Force 22. Omaha's getting way out in front of everybody. I don't like that. Slow things down here. I should really get everybody firing on that cruiser first. He's the one that I'm most worried about in terms of his own firepower. That's the heaviest ship he's got. Beautiful. One more hit from a battleship should do it. There we go.
Satoshi's Toast. Now we're working on Tenryu. Wow, nice. You got anybody left out there? Yep. Kuma. Another light cruiser. somebody else over here too no nope, there we go all right i think we'll wrap it up right there we still got to finish that other group but uh boy we know now that this thing's far from over and that a lot is going to still need to be done so let me know your thoughts use the comment section below and we will be back in a couple of days with another episode thanks for watching